Parando means way of the flowering manhood. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're we're flower men. Eh? We are we're gay and we're, we deliver flowers. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> you know, and many modern and uh, people have, you know, in forums you see, oh yeah, I don't want to be the flower boys or whatever, you know, and they just completely miss the point. Uh, but the because it is from a warrior class, the warrior class was called Haram. They were called flower men, flowering knights. Why? Because at that point in our in our in our history, Shilla Dynasty adopted as a state religion Buddhism. Okay? In Buddhism, Buddhist idea, idea of blossoming, coming into being, symbolizes the idea of enlightenment. Okay? And, and secondly, the, the, what you have to understand about this, this, this idea of flower, right, is to me, flower is the most powerful thing. Imagine how powerful that flower is. It moves people's hearts. You know, especially ladies. I mean, you know, how does it do that? One little, you know, flower is able to move somebody so emotionally. And what element of that flower does, what does that? Is it the stem? Is it the petals? Is it the leaves? No. It is all of it together, and a flower possesses the essence, the idea of beauty without effort. All the flower wants to do is let be left alone. But we keep on growing it, chopping it down, and then giving it to people because of its power. A flower doesn't say, look at me, look at me, I'm beautiful. Look at me. It just exists. And by its existence, it, it, it uh, emulates and it exudes the idea, the essence of beauty. Okay? So this is something that we want to aspire to, to be beautiful without effort. To be strong without effort, okay. without pretension, without effort, just by being. And also, even the name, Hua, feminine, Rang, ma masculine. So it is also then symbolic of the Eastern metaphysics of Yin Yang in Chinese, that's your symbol there, right? And it has little dots. And usually, see, See, Korean flag, our whole thing is the I Ching. Our whole flag is the I Ching there. And so it, uh, it basically states in nature for every one thing, there's an equal opposite. Okay? And it is the, this, uh, this combining of the negative and positive, this opposition, that created everything in the, in the universe. Okay? And that's why you see the squiggly line in between. If you drew us just a regular Half, half it, all it will say that it both of the, that there's two, there's duality, there's a dichotomy. Okay? There's opposite, two opposite things. But by making the wiggle line, it's saying, ah, there's interaction between the two. And it's the interaction that creates all the things in between. Okay? So that is uh, where the name comes from. 